guys, so today I'm going to be doing a very exciting video. If you're new to my channel, then hi, I'm Maya. I hope you guys can stick around and subscribe to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a very long-awaited video that I have been meaning to do for the longest time. Vanity slash makeup tour that you guys see in pretty much the back of all of my videos. I'm not trying to brag in any way, shape, or form, and most of the stuff on my vanity and my vanity itself have been purchased by myself. If it hasn't been, then I will make that little disclaimer. I don't know if this is a lot of makeup to you. Personally, to me, compared to all the other girls here on YouTube, I have zero makeup. I have like, I literally have two drawers, two small Alex drawers dedicated to makeup. I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get Okay, started. so this is just a little overview of the side of my room that you guys see. My door is right there and then when you walk in, you see my vanity, but I will be doing a room tour soon, so I'm not gonna get into too much detail of what's, what else is on this side of the room. Lamp right here that you see on the left of my vanity. I do need a lamp because I do not have too much lighting in my room. It's marble at the bottom, so I really like this. It's actually from Target. I like it a lot because it goes with the theme of my room. Um, once we get onto my vanity, you guys can kind of tell that it kind of corresponds and matches a little bit. Gold, silver, white, anywhere around those colors is the theme of my room. Three different lamps so that you can move these according to like where you want them and you can also pick the setting. Now we're gonna move on to the big things. Obviously, you guys are probably wondering where or how I made my vanity. I looked everywhere for vanities dedicated to holding my makeup so I didn't have to have my makeup on top or like somewhere on the side or anything like that. So I bought two separate Alex 5 drawers. So these are the Alex 5 drawers from Ikea. I believe they're about $89 each. Two small drawers and then three big drawers, like wider drawers. You guys can tell it's a marble slab. So I got this custom made. My dad is a construction worker to how I want it and how big I wanted the drawers and how like how big I wanted my desk and my vanity and everything like that. It took about a week or so to make. Obviously marble is very expensive. So this isn't real marble. This is actually granite. I want to say the name of this granite was Snow White it is my vanity stool. For Christmas I actually got this. This is, I believe it's from PJ Maxx and it was around $120. Just this white fur chair and then the pegs of, the four pegs are all clear on top and everything like that. So this mirror, as you guys can tell, it's a pretty big mirror. This one I actually picked up from Kohl's. I saw it at TJ Maxx and it was like $70 and I was like, okay, I really like it. Like, I might get it, but I just like put it on hold. And then I went to Kohl's right after that and I saw the same one there for like 50% off. It's with the silver theme, it matches really well and also has a little bit of like detailing on the on the rim of the mirror. I don't know if you guys can see because it's daylight, but I have my fairy lights on right now. So moving on to what is over here, I have three things in the corner because I didn't want it to be empty. Right here, as you guys can tell, I have a candle. I always switch this out according to what I'm feeling. Basically, I've burned most of it. The candle smells amazing. It's from Francesca's. I love the packaging to it. Like, look how cute that is. It's called Sugar Plum, if you guys are wondering. Here, I have a cacti. I think the flowers, if you can hear that, it's kind of crunchy. I think the flowers died, but the cactus is still alive. Right here, I have my makeup brushes. So these are the ones that I tend to grab and reach for the most. Silver ones that you see in here are from, these are the It Brushes by Ulta. I have a few different ones, and then I have Real Techniques, and then I have some random brands, and like Sonia Kasia. Moving on from that side over here into the middle, I always keep my computer right here, just because it's easy access. I also use this as a um, study table, like homework area, desk. It's the MacBook Air 11 inch. I'm not sure which model, but I'm thinking about upgrading soon. I haven't thought about it too much. The right side of my vanity, I have three things as well. But first, as you guys can tell, I have my Mari Badescu skincare facial infused rose water, aloe spray, whatever you want to call it. Obviously, I got this for Christmas, and as you can tell, I've used quite a bit of it. Um, and I love it. I use it every day before my makeup. I have my little makeup mirror. So this is for up close. Obviously, I do have this big mirror here that you can see. I have this one for up close reasons. Two sides. One's a little bit more zoomed in than the other. I want to say Target or TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx and Target had the exact same one, and I was like going back and forth between which one I wanted. Gold detailing around it, so I love that because I like to incorporate the gold. Here it has a little white tray, and it has a ton of different things that I like tend to reach for the most. I have my beauty blender. I have some eye drops. And I also have my contact case so I can put my contacts in before I do my makeup. I have some chapstick. And then I also have some Tweezerman tweezers. 
to the right side of my mirror is just a little elephant. So cute and I love it. This is actually from Kohl's as well. It's just a little elephant and I love the detailing to it. It has so many like little embroiders and detailing to it and I love how it has a gold saddle. Moving on to the left side, the left set of drawers that I have for my vanity. This is the first drawer and the first two are dedicated to makeup as I said. I don't know if this is a lot of makeup or a little bit of makeup compared to you guys but if you guys are big YouTubers then this is no makeup compared to you guys. Is this first little container, it's from the dollar store and I have just all my eyebrow products. I have about, I want to say like seven or eight of this, like these Anastasia brow pencils. They are my favorite. I highly recommend the Anastasia brow pencils. I also have a few different things in here like brow gels and sharpeners from Bobbi Brown and stuff like that. This is from Kohl's as well. I have two of these, one in my first drawer and one in my second drawer and I love them. I think they were about like seven or eight dollars each which is such a steal. So this right here is just my concealers and stuff like that. Some of this stuff is like shoved in there. I'll go through a few of my concealers. So my one of my favorites is the Tarte Maracuja concealer. It is so thick. It is the thickest concealer that I've ever, ever seen and ever like tried out before, but I love it. It's very full coverage. Like a NARS concealer, you guys know this is one of my favorites. I have the Naked concealer, that's really good. And then I have Maybelline, Smashbox, and um, Makeup Forever. The Laura Mercier powder, and this is the translucent one that everyone always talks about on YouTube. Um, this stuff is amazing. I actually just got it because um, my brother gave me a gift card to Sephora for Christmas, so I picked this up with it, and I am in love with it. This is the best setting powder that I've ever tried, and I don't think I'll ever go back to any other one. Moving on to this next square, I have just a ton of box powders and stuff like that. So I have my Becca Champagne Pop highlighter that I'm so sad about. It like shattered, so if any of you guys know how to fix this, then please let me know down below. I love it though, it's so pretty, it's just, it's shattered and I, I don't want to mess it up. And this is my second favorite highlighter, this is the MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter. I love it, I definitely recommend it if you guys are looking for a highlighter. And then I also have a little Lolly tint from Benefit. This is a boxed blush, the Hula Bronzer from Benefit, then I have another Boxed um, powder. This is the Hello Flawless from Benefit. This is the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I have a Makeup Forever like HD powder in here. Um, and then moving on to the next little box, the Rockator Blush box blush. This is the um, Major at Benefit cream blush. I have a another mini dandelion box blush, and then I have the Naked Illuminated highlight. This is the. Urban Decay After Light After Glow shade Sin. I'm really bright in my room, so sorry if this is bright to you guys. I don't know what this is like to you guys, but I'm sorry if the lighting's a little bit off or it's gotten a little bit brighter. I have my Naked Foundation, and this stuff is amazing. I'm wearing it today. Naked Urban Decay Flushed Palette. Love this. I, this was my first high-end product I ever purchased, and I remember purchasing it with um, a Sephora gift card I actually got for my birthday, so I was so excited about that. And then right here is the Maybelline Fit Me Powder, and then I also have this Too Faced Powder, and um, this is a bronzer and blush that I've never even used. I don't know why I got it. I think it was because I was in my little like makeup phase, and I was like, oh my god, I need it, even though I don't have any purpose you know, for it. So I just bought it just to buy it. Okay, so this is a better overview of it all. Here I have a few of my mascara products and like eyelash products. This is just a Benefit eyeliner. This is my Tarte eyelash curler, love this thing. I have a few different ones. This is a Tarte Lights Camera Flashes, Bad Gal, Roller Lash, Lash Domination, Better Than Sex. Um, I have a few Sephora brand ones. And then mini ones, I have some Maybelline in here and some like Lights Camera Flashes. And then I also have Their Real no Mascara by Benefit. Just a ton of different random mascaras. So that is it for this drawer. Then moving on to the second drawer. So this is the second drawer that I have. And here I have a little cubby. This is from the dollar store as well. And it's just white. I wanted to get a clear one that they didn't have a size like this. First I have the Smashbox double exposure. And this would look gorgeous if I had, like, if I knew how to do eyeshadow, then I would definitely use it for a New Year's look. Because these colors are beautiful. I love the blue one. I just can't do makeup for my life. So never ever like really use this one that much. And then this is the Naked Urban Decay 2 Basics palette. This one is really good for beginners as well. It's very light and neutral shades, but it's also matte. So you can't like, you can't go wrong with matte. I love this one. Sorry if it's like not focusing. So I love this one, but 
Again, like I said, I suck at makeup. <laughs> the next palette that I have is the Naked 3 palette. This one is gorgeous. Of all of the shades in this, again, I'm horrible at makeup. This one is from Tarte. This is the Tarte and Bloom palette. Gorgeous shades. Love the packaging. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Shadow palette, but this is the Anastasia Contour Kit in the shade light to medium, um, Neutrogena Makeup Remover Wipes. Right here is all my other like lip products and face products, stuff like that. A ton of these different little NYX butter glosses. These are like some of my first like makeup products like ever. And then I have some NARS Chubby Sticks, Kylie Cosmetics, um, those kit, the Kylie Cosmetic kits, like lip liners and Cargo. And then, I, oh my God, remember when these were the thing? The NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils were the thing. It's a ton of different things, more butter glosses and some like Revlon, CoverGirl. If you guys get any one product from Sephora, I definitely recommend the Sugar Lip Scrubs and the Lip Balms. They are amazing, but they're so expensive. Moving on over here, just a little bit more sticks that didn't fit. Um, I also have a few eyeshadow palettes back here that I never use. Makeup remover. Here is an Urban Decay eyeshadow primer. I have some face primers, um, some color tattoos by Maybelline, some eyeshadows and stuff like that that I never really use back there. And then right here, moving on to this last section, I have a mirror from Sephora. I have the Professional face primer, Benefit eye cream, and then face cream, which is really, I love this stuff to put on before your makeup. It, oh my God, it's so thick and moisturizing. I love it. And then this is the Ultra Radiance Facial Rehydrating Mist. I really like this too. And then also the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. So that is it for my makeup. Uh, we are done with that. That probably took forever. So now we're moving on to the third drawer. This is a little bit messy, but it has some Lululemon headbands, a ton of my hair, excuse that. Um, some wet brushes. I have um, dry shampoo, some new me curling wands and um, straighteners. I have bandanas when these were in. I literally bought so many of them. Their products in there. And then the fourth drawer down, I have random stuff. This is like my contact case, like my contacts. I have these two drawers are from the dollar store and I have a face mask in here. I have nail clippers, a ton of different nail polishes. Um, I have nail polish remover and then some brushes that I never really use. And then right here is this moisturizer. Ever go to Target and see this? Do not get it. I do not recommend it at all. It sucks. It says for sensitive skin, but it's I have sensitive skin and it made me break out in the biggest rash. I used it one time and it was burning my skin. It sucks. It's from Target. Don't get it. <laughs> here in the last drawer is just a ton of makeup bags. So I have this one's my most used and then I have this one from Maddie. I love using this one. Um, I use this one for like my makeup. I use this one for like my hair care and everything like that. It's a bag of makeup brushes in the packaging and everything that I've never used, but I don't know. I don't want to open it. Might give it away in like a giveaway or something like that. Now we're moving on to the right side of drawers that I have. So the first set is just mainly for candles. I guess you could say I have a ton of Bath and Body Works ones in here and a lighter and stuff like that. And at my second drawer, literally have nothing in there. This is like my 2017 goals that I have in there. And my third drawer is the big one. This one has all my most used camera equipment um, that I grab the most. So I keep my tripod in here, but I'm using that right now. And then I also have my lens that I most use, like the second most used lens, um, a charger, a cable, cord, whatever. Stabilizers in here. I keep my camera in here and stuff like that. So this drawer is my school drawer. It has a few essays in there, textbooks, all my cards from AP Human, um, pencils in case I run out, paper, laminators, scissors, just a ton of school stuff in here. And my last drawer is random. I don't even know. This is like, has my iPhone, my iPhone boxes in here, uh, my computer boxes in here for when I when it's time to upgrade with my computer, I have that in here. I have a few charging boxes that I never use. I don't know why I have them here. I have a flash drive, um, some portable chargers, and then I have, oh my goodness, I have two of these. Maya Summers, um, 2014 most improved team member for cheerleading and then most dedicated cheerleader. Oh my gosh, that, that was bad, all right. That is my entire makeup collection slash vanity tour slash desk area. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed. So that was it for my vanity slash makeup tour. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to stick around and subscribe down below. Also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and comment down below what your favorite part of this video was. In the description box and check out all my social medias. They're always linked down below. My Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!